Monday morning. Well, afternoon now, it is afternoon now. It's just been out since the morning. But we've done a thing. We've bought our own hurdles. Very exciting. So yeah, we've been to check, maintain the lambs. They're all good. And then we went to cafe, which is where we go on a Monday morning because it's like part of our routine. And we've been all the way to Stamford and back to buy these. <laughs> Which is like a trek for us. It's like an hour either way to buy us some these. But this should mean that we can now catch the sheep. Oh, I'm so happy. I've been feeling like such a failure of a shepherdess because I can't catch a sheep. Like, kind of an important skill. But these should make life easier. We have four, six foot long, and they're called hurdles, which I know sounds really weird because they're like fence panels, but there's, that's what they're called. They're called hurdles. So, four six foot hurdles i also got a bag of creep feed which is teeny tiny pellets for the lambs but i did forget to bring the u nuts which are the ones we use to bring the ewes in and like if we use it for minty and the girls if we need to move them we use the u nuts up that we're using up because we've got like an open bag and i'm not i'm not about to open a bag of brand new bag of creep feed in the back of rob's truck um to get them in so i'll try and walk them in today once i've got the pen set up with my hurdle and um if i can't get them in then i'll bring you nuts with me tomorrow and they'll go in like i have no doubt that by the end of this video we will have caught her because we have hurdle <laughs> like, this is almost as, as exciting as new sheep for me because this means i can look after my sheep better Yay. um but we are also on the lookout for more sheep I may have some new leads on that, so it's just an exciting week this week, guys. It's gonna be an exciting week. We get these unloaded. Might have to wake up the kid. I've just let the dog out for a week because again, it's a long drive. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, let's get them in the field. Halfway there, and people are already being nosy. Hello, my lovely. You all right? So as you can see, these guys interlock. It's very clever. And I've moved the pallet because I no longer need it. Happy Monday. So yeah, some of them might walk in nicely by themselves because they are nosy as. Watson will also be being this nosy, but she'll be this nosy from a distance because she doesn't trust anybody. Isn't that right, Watson? Well, don't kick over. Why are you trying to kick over the bucket? What's wrong with people? I can see they're all just chilling today. Chilling. Right. I'm going to put two along here. I'm going to swing those ones open so there's like a funnel attempt to funnel them in as you can see we'll make a much much larger area then we're going to try and close it tie it up with string because bailer twine solves everything and then catch her in a much smaller area but big enough that she'll actually come into it if that makes sense as if the rest of them decide to be as inquisitive and nosy as this little one here yes ladies also have to try and get my son to come to me. He's over there somewhere. I'll find him as well. Okay, so we've got this one tied in. Just this one left to go. I thought I'd show you how they interlocked in case you were interested in that because I find it interesting. Okay, so I always start at the bottom. You simply pop that in there. And then you lift this one up. Oh, I don't want to do this with two hands. Try not to drop it. And then you pop it on over the top, and then it's not going anywhere. It's attached to it. I might need to tighten those knots. Um, yeah, then I'll fling this bit open, see if I can walk them in. And you can see we've made this nice big square pen now. Isaac, leave it alone. This is my life. And then we will simply close these two with baler twine because I accidentally put two female ends together rather than a male and a female so I won't be able to interlock them because I had a bit of a boo-boo oh well we can't have everything in life do I think they want to come in without nuts no do I think I'll get them in tomorrow no problem with nuts yes does that mean I'm not going to try today absolutely not let's give it a go
much of that you saw and how much that I'll have to speed up but as you can see it was not successful it was split multiple times often by Isaac leave the water drop alone we'll try again tomorrow with nuts with nuts we will succeed I am sure of it get your hand out of the water trough <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow it's been a very long day today guys it's been a very long day plus side I can leave my pen up because they're galvanized stainless steel so they ain't going nowhere like if it rains it rains it's not the end of the world with them they are all good and then tomorrow I'll come with bucket nuts I will lead them in because if the space is big enough the girls will go in for nuts they'll walk into a trailer for nuts them they love their nuts I just needed to make sure it was just because it was too small of a space to get them to come over they weren't going to come over to such a small space before they could see that it was so now I've got a big open space I'll be able to lead them in tomorrow and we'll get this done we will get this done thank you for bearing with me I'm learning <laughs> see you tomorrow Ladies, I was going to film an intro. I didn't expect you to all come running over straight away. Well, come on then. Happy Tuesday, girls. In you get. So yeah, happy Tuesday. I've managed to get these girls in here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six in here. As you can see, I've got four that decided not to come in. Isaac's going to go and harass them, knowing Isaac. But none of those four are the ones that I desperately need to catch. So, Yeah. For those of you like, you seem very certain, oh there she is, that you can get her in today. Yes, yes I am. Nuts. I just needed the nuts. So I'm now going to try and catch her, which could be the amusing part, and hold to her. Also, I did this to the fence because there were a smaller amount of sheep in here. So I tied it like this to make it, I don't even know what shape this is. It's like a doof, 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 doof shape size. You good harassing the sheep? So yeah. You're just eating, <laughs> you know, snacks. Uh, I'm going to grab her, catch her, and attempt to hold to her to probably the gate. But I think that's the most secure point. I probably won't film this bit because it takes two hands, and I don't know where I'd put it up so you could see it because I don't know whereabouts I'm going to catch her. But yeah, we do this, we got this. We knew, we knew with the pen and the nuts we could get there. Oh, she's going like that. Like, yeah. I'll back in a minute. Okay. So I managed to pin her in this corner, catch her, pop the halter on her, and I've just tied her off to the gate quickly. And I'm just gonna trim out her back end and probably apply some of that cream that just works as a preventative as well. And then I'll give it a couple of days to fully heal and pop some more dicyclinal back there just to cover that area where the fleece that had it on was removed. You girls can all just chill out and watch, all right? Is it all right? Cool beans. Okay, so I'm really struggling with my shears. Isaac put them back. Um, it's not clearing very well. But I managed to get the worst of it off that was there. So I'm now going to apply a little bit of wound cream up here to this pink bit. Sorry about the focus. And then spray, completely cover the rest of it in uh, fairy liquid. Which will also help prevent anything occurring. Ah, 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 sweetheart. Ah, ah, ah. Um, nothing is currently occurring. She had some little eggs though. And I've managed to get those off. So yeah, it will just help it from developing into anything worse. So there's flies hanging around because I've taken off that dead wall. But um, I've put cream on there and then I've saturated the area with um, the spray, uh, with my fairy liquid spray, which is in here. But well, it's not fairy liquid actually. I don't know which one it is, but it's washing up liquid. Um, this is the cream I used. This is summer fly cream. And yeah, it's a repellent cream. So it's really great for any wounds that they have. Because you put it on and the fly's like, oh, I don't like this. So I might actually put a little bit more on her back. Like this, you can see where I've saturated all down here, her tail, oh, and all no. down the other side. <laughs> yeah. We put loads and loads of cream on, just wiping the rest of my hand on her back. And that will just help keep flies off this area while it's healing. Um, and then a couple of days, I'll catch her again. She's going to really hate me, but life goes on. Um, and I'll reapply the disyclinol to that back end where I've removed the fleece that had it on. Um, and then, what are we also going to do for you, my sweetheart? Oh, we're going to, Rob and I are looking at investing, sorry, it should be this way around. Rob and I are looking at investing in some battery operated shears because whilst we have the generator operated ones, 
it's a lot to bring up here and that will just allow us to get a much tighter much tighter clip because it's very hard to get the dried on stuff off with the hand shears right sweetheart are you ready to go free are you ready to go free let me just check your eyes while i'm here that is a beautiful eye can i see the other one that is also beautiful because they can often get nastiness in their eyes right are you lot all right while you're in here Yeah, once we get, because a couple of them have got some light colouring, but again, they're absolutely fine at the moment. But once we get the battery operated shears, which I don't know what we can do, it's one of the things we're looking at getting, um, we will dag them all out and they will all have like, look at her, she's lovely, but they will all have like properly razored, razored back ends. They'll look really weird, but I will not care because I hate flies. Right, I'm going to let her go and then I'm going to let them all out. Oh, she is looking so much better now. Now, don't get wrong, at the moment, she looks a bit of a mess because she's, like, covered in treatment. But, oh, the worst of it is off. Yay! Because sometimes in life, you can feel like a bit of a failure because you can't do something. When actually, it might just be that you don't have the right resources to do it. And it's not that you're a failure. It's that your situation is kind of failing you. Um, we have the hurdles. We have bucket train sheets wasn't an issue once we've got the right setup. The right setup, I was able to catch her and I will be able to catch all of them going forward if I have any issues with any of them. Oh, it's a good day today, guys. It's a good day. And I will see you on Thursday where I might have some more news about new sheep.